I'm Vina Gupta. I was a PhD student at the University of Liverpool studying psychology and my research was on understanding the identities of those in lived experience roles. I'm now currently Dr. Vina Gupta. I was bullied at school and that sort of was really traumatising and I developed psychosis. The main sort of episode was in 2011 while I was doing my undergraduate psychology degree and I sort of lost touch with all of reality. I was sort of seeing things, hearing things and sensing things that weren't really there and I felt really terrified. I wasn't in touch with reality. My family realised that I was really unwell and I was sectioned under the Mental Health Act. I was put in touch with an early intervention in psychosis service and that really supported me to sort of get back to reality. And then I think because of that really holistic experience of early intervention care, I really wanted to give back to research. I drew on my lived experience to help train healthcare professionals. When a PhD came up at Liverpool, I was interested in sort of taking that understanding of how service users and carers are impacted by their roles as experts by experience and how it impacts their identity. So my PhD has sort of stemmed from those different observations and experiences in my own life with the research associate position. That's only come up because of having done the PhD at Liverpool. Even before getting onto the PhD, in my interview I disclosed that I had psychosis and there was no sort of judgement, they just saw me for my skills and attributes and what I could bring and actually that I could bring a personal lived experience to the table. My primary supervisor, who was my rock, who was really supportive throughout actually, when I did need mental health support, they would signpost me to the mental health services and as soon as I, I was relapsing, my supervisor sort of fast-tracked that and got the mental health support from the university. I think there's a difference between sort of academic supervision and sort of mental health support. So I think my PhD sort of fills that gap and sort of advocates for a clinical dimension to supervision that isn't already provided or done at the moment. So what are my aspirations for the future? I think I'd like to stay in research. I'd like to build on my PhD research and maybe do a fellowship in the future or conduct my own research. I have had to draw on a lot of resilience um, in my life I guess and throughout the PhD and throughout my research roles I've had to be persistent, determined and sort of goal oriented but also knowing that I'm making a meaningful difference to people who can be supported through my research so I think that's sort of led to that drive to make a difference.